Hey everybody, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Chenille. And I have three questions that I want you to consider. Have you watched the movie Lily Not Me? That's something that I think will provoke your thinking. Two, do you have decisions that you need to make right now? Three, are you concerned about the next steps in your life? as you're contemplating which path you should go in your process to progress. The decisions that you make today, they do affect your journey. So stay tuned for what's next as I share my story so that you can gain um, uh, information and insight on your process. Thanks for listening. and. Also go back for those of you who are just joining me to the previous videos so that you can continue to see what you didn't see before. Follow, like, and share. And thanks for listening. Yes. Now, going into Bergen Community College, when I was considered, once I graduated from Eastside High School, and I decided to take the path to Bergen Community College. I always knew that I loved helping people. That's something that I always knew. I enjoyed, I, I love the feeling of helping people. So what I decided to do was to study nursing because I felt like there's always going to be sick people. And, you know, uh, working in the hospital uh, you know, or a healthcare institution, that was always going to be a need. So it was job security. Um, so that's why I chose the route that I of nursing. So when I went to um, ask a, a guidance counselor about um, funding, to pay for college, you know, to continue my education, I went <clears throat> to uh, the counselor there at Bergen Community College, which happened to be a male. And he advised me to have a couple of babies to pay for my uh, college education. So, <laughs> so for those of you who know me, uh, I... I refuse to be a statistic. Some of you may have heard me say this before. I refuse to be a statistic. So when he advised me to have babies to pay for my college education, I just looked at him. You know, I wasn't disrespectful because that was coming from his um, based on his exposure in life and his um, uh experiences and things which brings me to my point and that is why I brought this up not to uh, throw shade or um or anything like that but to see to, to express the the importance of whom is it, it, it's dangerous it can be very dangerous because not everyone who has a title uh, or in a certain predicament who appears to be doing uh, really well, they're not always uh, the best person that you should take advice from. You don't know how they got to where they are. You don't know how they got what they have. There's a cost to everything. Nothing in life is free. In this particular predicament, I was not willing to pay the cost of having babies to achieve my next step to pay for my college. That is, uh, it totally went against what I was willing to do. And people advise you based on their um life experiences, level of exposure, their upbringing, their personal beliefs. So when you are seeking out counsel, know who you are, know mm -hmm. 
what your personal beliefs are, what you want and are uh, what you will and are not willing to do uh, when you are considering whom to get advice from. Because there's a cost associated with every achievement in life. So consider the cost and know yourself of what you're willing or aren't willing to do. And don't be fooled by a title, associations, or things when seeking counsel. And I can go on and on with that, but I'm going to leave it at, at that because that's my point, that everyone isn't qualified to give you advice on your next steps. This is Chanel, and I am committed to making you think and stay tuned for more.